everybody. I am back for another week in review. So this is the week of September 16th through the 20th. And um, I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying these videos. I mean, there's only been one. Um, I had a lot of people asking me to keep doing them and I'm really glad that um, it's helpful for you guys and it's also helpful for me because you guys have asked some questions, you've offered some solutions, so I think it's really great that we all get to collaborate in this way. So um, I'll just give you some highlights from what I did this week. It won't be every single little thing that I did on each day, but just the big stuff that I'm working on. And again, I have my planner here to jog my memory because I'm looking at Monday and Tuesday like, really? That really happened this week? <laughs> so Monday started off with... Um, some responsive time just some of our kiddos having trouble transitioning back from home over the weekend and um, I spent some time in kindergarten just working with um, one of my new friends practicing some skills that we're working on um, checking in with some new friends in first grade who um, I'm really enjoying working with on um, some behavior goals in the classroom and I started my kindergarten friendship group I started it last week with some students from one of the kindergarten classes and this week I'm doing it with some students from the other kindergarten class so in each class I have three or four students who are coming to the group and for me that's plenty for kindergarten I don't want to have a six to eight person group with kindergarten students it's too many um, so for one class last week I had three students in the group one who I was expecting to come was absent on that day um, but this week when I was in the other kindergarten working with the other kindergarten class I had three students in that group um, so we just talked about things that friends do things that friends don't do and then we did a glyph to um, identify the things that we really like in a friend so I think I showed you guys this last week when I did it but basically I just drew a circle on each paper and then um, we did pick green eyes if you like this pick blue eyes if you like that so everybody's was a little bit different and I'll put that activity on my blog for you guys so you can see what it is and what we did um, so then also on Monday I did my kindergarten social skills group um, this is my second session with the other class I did the second session with the first class last week so this week we were focusing on following rules so we did our same activity where we played a board game and we set all the rules before and then we stuck to it agreed to it and played the game um, there's a lot of other stuff on Monday I was doing a lot of um, work on a behavior support plan that I'm working on um, getting together with the team on that um, and I was also setting up a communication log for a student and a family um, we're doing it through Google Forms because um, I guess in the past it's been on paper the parents really wanted it to be digital they were asking us to text them that information but we didn't want to have phone numbers involved so um, we came to an agreement on a Google form so basically I just highlighted each block so math block um, zero to two on task not on task um, assignments complete assignments not complete need to be done in study hall or um, for homework and then comments so I did that for each subject just really simple um, Tuesday was bizarre like I felt like I was just all over the place on Tuesday lots of responsive stuff going on that day um, I didn't have any planned groups or classroom lessons that day but I was running all over the place um, mostly in kindergarten and first grade but I also had um, some fourth grade mediation going on um, from something brought to my attention from a parent um, and it went really well it was actually super easy um, I also had second grade oh I did have something planned that day <laughs> see I don't even remember um, I had my second grade lunch um, for my changing families group and if you follow me on Instagram you know that I realized mid lunch that two of the kids whose parents signed them up for the group were not in changing family situations <laughs> when I reached out to the families they just signed the form didn't really read it so it was just, we all had a good laugh over it um, but I did figure out from there I only had two kids who really signed up that met the criteria for the group um, in second grade and so I think I'm going to combine them with my third grade group because I only have three in that one so I think five will be manageable for our changing families second and third grade but it's all boys so super high energy group but I think we're going to make it work by combining second and third grade I also had some individual sessions um, for IEP counseling on Tuesday Wednesday started off with some more responsive time in the morning um, as you can see mornings are a difficult time you guys know this for a lot of our kids just transitioning to school um, then I did a fourth grade lesson so in fourth grade we have a lot of 
girl drama, boy drama, things coming from different pockets. So I really wanted to um, start our lessons this time just talking about empathy and like not judging people's actions based on just what we see, but really thinking about like what else might be going on. So we did a kind of like a cross the line activity. I've used the same statements for cross the line in middle school, um, but I just, we didn't have the space for that. So they have a circle in the classroom where they sit. So we just did a stand up if instead of crossing the line, but same thing. Um, and then we kind of debriefed on what did you notice? Who did you have something in common with that you didn't know before? Um, and which was really beneficial because some of the students who had been having problems with one another realized that they actually had a lot of stuff in common. Um, so that was great. Then we wrapped it up by spending some individual time. Um, each student kind of made a list of like their best experiences in their life so far and some of the worst experiences. And then in small groups, they shared what they were comfortable with. Um, and I think everybody really walked away with some new information and kind of a new perspective on some of their peers, which was the goal. So that went really well. Um, I also on Wednesday, unfortunately, had to sit in on a meeting with a um, school principal and one student um, due to some disciplinary stuff. Um, I wasn't there to provide um, punishment or what we traditionally think of as discipline, but I did, um, you know, provide some questioning, some motivational interviewing about your choices and how we're going to make better ones. Um, and, you know, offered a lot of praise to the student for telling the truth and that kind of stuff. So. Um, being involved in discipline doesn't have to be a bad thing, especially if you're using discipline as like teaching, discipleship, walk alongside, that kind of thing. Um, I had also on Wednesday sixth grade lunch group, just um, a sixth grade student had asked if he could come for lunch and bring some friends. So he brought I think, five friends and it was really fun just to get to know them better. They're a really fun group of kids. Um, also had kind of part two of mediation with fourth grade on that day. I'm just bringing everybody into the picture. Um, actually followed up with parents. Parents um, volunteer and work on campus a lot, so I just talked to them for a little bit afterwards. So it was a really positive experience. Um, Wednesday's our early day. We get out an hour early um, for staff development, and we had department meetings. So I'm part of the SPED department, so we had our SPED department meeting. Thursday, jam-packed. I don't have any spots on my planner that aren't totally filled up. Um, I started off um, checking in with some students who had asked to see me at the end of the day prior, but we ran out of time, so I saw them first. Um, had a parent meeting, um, another parent meeting afterwards. Um, then I had a sixth grade student that I met with um, referred by the teacher, so let's see. Then I had a... Um, second grade classroom lesson we this was the same classroom lesson for second grade that I did with the other class last week so there we go this the <laughs> this is all backwards for me okay the ice cream scoops the conversational skills we read the invincible boy again talks about how to um, structure a conversation around inviting someone getting to know them better and then we practiced um, I don't think I mentioned this last week but we had um, two circles so the inside circle faced out and then the outside circle faced in so every student had a partner that they were standing in front of and I would give them a scenario like um, outside students pretend that your the inside partner is sitting alone at recess what's your conversation gonna look like or um, outside students pretend that some kids at lunch are talking about a birthday party that you know somebody wasn't invited to. How are you going to have a conversation with them to kind of turn the attention away from that? Um, and that went really well. They did a great job with that. Um, had a kindergarten check-in, another sixth grade lunch with a different set of kids. Um, really, really nice kids. It's so nice to um, get to know them because they aren't necessarily kids that I would interact with a lot. Um, I know a lot of people don't do lunch bunch or whatever and I don't do lunch bunch every day it's not super structured um, it's mostly like kids will say hey can we come up lunch with you and I'll look at my planner and say yeah come on whatever day um, so it's just whatever day I don't have something else like a structured group going on because unfortunately I'm running a lot of the groups during lunchtime um, don't love it but we have lunch recess back to back so I have a little bit of extra time built in there um, I had a friendship group session two of my friendship kindergarten group scheduled but um, a bunch of the kids were absent um, fever's going around strep throat so we didn't get to that um, so I had a little bit of extra time for some behavior plan writing then I had um, some more mediation going on um, was a really positive experience um, then I wrapped up Thursday spending like two hours writing behavior support plan a behavior support plan um, it's pretty involved um, a lot of goals so 
trying to be super precise just to make everything very easy for everyone. Um, today, Friday, um, had some responsive time in the morning. I started the day at home thinking, you know what, it's Friday, I'm going to wear a dress that I really like. Um, choice because the day started with some eloping, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, then I had a, uh, just a check-in with a student about some daily goals, and then I did a third grade lesson, same third grade lesson I did last week with the other class in sportsmanship. We read Pig the Winner, and then we did the sportsmanship centers, and they went really well. And now I have um, speech bubbles that all the students made with good sports sayings in them, and I'm going to put them together on a big banner to put, or maybe probably two big banners, to hang around recess areas, um, just to give other kids a reminder of, hey, this is what good sports sounds like and I'll try to take a picture of that if I can make sure it's not revealing any student info. Um, then I did fourth grade lesson, another fourth grade class, same empathy lesson. Um, this one was I think a lot more impactful than the last one. Um, the students really took it to heart. We had some tears. Um, a lot of students saying that it was a big relief to share some of the things that they shared because they'd never told anyone and um, it was meaningful for them to have their peers listen to them. So a lot of kids um, said that they were walking away with a new perspective, um, they would probably be treating people differently after doing this. So that was the goal. I'm really excited. It went well. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it carries over. Um, I also had third grade family changes group today. It's the one that I'm going to combine with second grade. Um, and I did ask those students about it. Um, I said, you know, there's only two kids in the second grade group. Would you guys be okay um, inviting them into our group and being together? And they were really nice about it. So I think that's what we're going to do. After that, I, spent some, I had lunch with some fourth graders, talked about some things with them. Then I wrapped up the day in second grade. Again, I... Um, agreed to come in to the class to do a second lesson for this class. Um, I was just in there last week. The teacher is actually um, going on a trip and she wanted to know if I would come in and do another lesson. And I'm going to take every chance I can get to get in there because um, the teachers here are used to having the counselor only come in once a week. I mean, I'm sorry, once a month, which um, to me isn't a whole lot. I would really like to be in there a lot more often. So I definitely jumped at that opportunity. Um, we kind of followed up on, you know, finding connections with other students. If you see somebody sitting by themselves, just reach out to them, find something you have in common, invite them to do something with you. Um, so I read the book, um, A Normal Pig, and it's about a pig who um, feels pretty normal until somebody starts pointing out a difference. Um, and then the pig learns to feel pretty normal again and accept himself, herself, herself for who she is. Um, and then we just did a quick activity where one student was in the center, they shared something about themselves, and the student stood up and said, me too, if they had it in common. And lo and behold, just as I was hoping, for every single thing that a student shared in the center, somebody had that in common with them, which is what I wanted to find. Um, and the students were really excited to find connections with people that they didn't know about already. And then we did um, some mindfulness activities just to calm it down, because they were very excited. Um, I took my chime with me, and um, I, they sat comfortably wherever they were. Um, some of them closed their eyes. I told them they didn't have to if they didn't want to, but I rang the chime, and we just listened to the chime to the sound of the chime until we could no longer hear it. Um, and we did that a few times and they also they felt really calm afterwards. Um, great. <laughs> um, after school, I had a couple of meetings with um, team members, checking in, following up, getting on the same page as you do on a Friday afternoon. Um, that's what I did this week. Those are the highlights. Um, this was a lot longer than I intended for it to be, but I hope that hearing me ramble about my crazy week <laughs> is helpful for you. Um, if you have questions about anything that I did, please feel free to ask. Um, if you heard something that I'm doing and you do something similar but do it a different way and you want to tell me about that, I would love to hear about it too. So just leave me a note in the comments. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next week.